Good afternoon. Montreal's oldest political party is dead. Its remnants, though, will live on through merger, as Herb Luft reports. Jean Drapeau founded the Civic Party 35 years ago and built it into a dynasty. But with his retirement 11 years ago, the party has been struggling and now decided to end the agony. Montrealers party leader Jerome Choquette and interim Civic Party leader Frank Venary shook hands today, sealing a merger of their parties. They say the Civic Party name disappears, but its legacy and its ideals live on. Herb Luff, Pulse News. A new poll shows Quebecers like the Parti Québécois, but they aren't so fond of its leader. The crop poll showed 37% of respondents think the PQ has the best team of candidates. 27% preferred the Liberal contenders. The PQ also came out on top for its overall program. 37% compared to 33 for the Liberals. But it was Daniel Johnson who won the popularity contest. The majority of Quebecers said the Liberal leader had the best personality and style. Still on provincial politics, it took just two votes to come up with yesterday's PQ nomination in the Mercier riding. Giuseppe Scortino was the first winner, but Robert Perrault walked away with the candidacy. Robert Perrault was the Transit Commission boss, what PQists call a pur laine. Shortino is Sicilian-born Canadian. The PQ establishment hoped would capture some of the fledgling ethnic vote on Montreal Island. The near 600 delegates cast their vote, and within a half hour, the results were known. Pedro played down his win for the riding and his win against party establishment. Well, the Royal Bank today kicked off a round of lower mortgage rates. This to stay competitive. It's at a drop in the rate of a quarter of a percentage point. Is to pick up business in a slow summer market. So far, the Bank of Montreal has followed suit. Well, Pittsburgh doesn't slow down the Expos, it seems. Here's Ron Roos to attest to that. Well, the Expo is playing an afternoon game to open the four-game series. The last four games before the strike, of all things, continue the way they are. And the Expos in the bottom of the seventh inning are leading the game 3-2. to two. A three-run homer by Moises Alou, the difference in this ball game right now. That came in the sixth inning when the Expos are trailing 3-1. to one. Both sides left today's baseball negotiation meetings, agreeing that there has been no progress. They met for 90 minutes before taking a break. They resume talks later today, and it looks like the strike will come about on Friday. Bill? Thank you, Ron. The weather forecast now, clear this evening and tonight, a low of 16 degrees, clouding over tomorrow morning with a 60% chance of showers and a high of 26. For Wednesday, sunny with a chance of rain in the afternoon, a high Wednesday of 21 degrees. Currently under sunny skies in Montreal, it's 28 degrees. Now with a look at Montreal area traffic, here is Susan Bell. We're in pretty good shape this afternoon. We've only got a minimal slowdown reported on the inbound TCAN through DeCarry out towards Celeron. Some uh, construction notes to keep in mind, though, for this evening. Highway 20 westbound will be completely closed between 55th and the Dorval Circle from 10 p.m. tonight until 6 a.m. tomorrow morning for repaving work. Same situation on DeCarry northbound. The obvious alternative, a complete closure from 8 p.m. tonight between Cote St. Luke and the Metropolitan. It will reopen tomorrow morning at 5.30. Back to you, Bill. Thanks, Susan. Join us again at 6 o'clock. For Home Improvement, Wednesday at 9.